Hmm, what's this? Hello, welcome back to The Freak Show. Bumpy McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with my Let's Play of Lords of Shulama. We're on episode 110. I know, and we're about to see what's inside of the giant treasure chest of doom. And apparently, two cool things, and then whatever that is. That's Valvet's Orb. Valvet's Orb is a sphere made of a Galadorn, an extremely valuable red crystal. Inside, you can see a kind of dense gas that glows with a warm light. When you touch the orb, you feel as if you're wrapped in a protective aura. An inscription at the base reads, Do not fear the heat of the earth, for it is there that the strength of Alvet can be found. Alright, in the Tower of Rage, I found the Divine Artifact. Cool. And all of the other stuff. And all of the other reindeers, too. You know, I hear they used to laugh and call them names. I'm, I'm kidding, guys. It's, it's fine. It's a joke. It's a bad joke, but it's a joke. Alright, so that was disastrous, but survivable. Barely. I don't think there's anything else. Oops, in this area. I think we've pretty much cleared everything. I don't know that we've necessarily cleared out the fountain. Maybe we did. Doesn't seem like we can interact with it anymore, so I guess we cleared it. Or maybe there was never a clearing to be had to begin with. I don't know. Either way, I'm pretty excited, pretty happy that we got through all of this. So, take from that what you will. Okay, so that is done, and now we're in the south ancient ruins again. There's a few enemies still lurking in the nearby area. And we shall do battle with... I don't know if we're going to do battle with them, but something... Alright, how do we stand up against you? It is a troublesome battle. Alright, we must engage in some of these battles, so let's see if we can't get the remaining horns that we need. Alright, I'm gonna go heavy on... Uh, we always miss. Heavy on you. We're gonna probably end up losing the vast majority of our power points, because that's what they do. They steal power points. In fact, there we are, we're already at 0%. Because of reasons. Hey, we landed a shot. Yay, and we're at a point. We can't even do anything with him anymore. Shiny Bob is trying to survive, but... Yeah, you know how it goes. Landing those wounds, we'll throw out this. And I guess we'll try to poison and bring you down. This does seem like a slightly easier fight than normal for us. Good. I say he should be able to avoid that. Alright, big hit there. And once again, try blast them right there. Hit you pretty hard. Going to start pulling in our own power points. Was going to poison you, but apparently you're outside of our range to do that. Decent chunk of damage. Still not quite enough, though. Alright, power point stealing. We're going to steal some from you. And we're going to hopefully end you here. I'm going to try to keep ours up. And that's enough. Nice. Well played, sir. And we missed. Perfect. And by perfect, I don't mean that at all. Big shot there. Another power point to gain. And we're going to try to end you. And good day, sir. Alright, so we did that. We got another one of these horns. I don't know if that's enough for our quest. I think it might be. Only time will tell. Nope, still not enough. However, Mutanat did manage to level up, so good on him. Strength, and once again, agility seems to be a thing that he needs just a bit more than everyone else. Weapon Master Tactics and such. We're going to go with Fast Reflexes. That, once again, increases our evasion level. Bodybuilding seems good, but not necessary. We go with Weapon Master again, increase our attack rating, and Tactics this time around, increase our combat initiative. And we should be continually on the first group of people to actually attack. Or with the first group of people to actually attack, I don't, whatever it is. That looks troublesome. 
Uh, was there anything in here that we weren't able to do? No. We did that. Alright, so it looks like we're just up against a bunch of troublesome fights at this point. There may be one or two things left for us to do. And here's an easy one that's still going to hurt like crazy. But that's okay. 140 and 200. Alright, well, let's hit you. Here come a multitude of fireballs flying our way. The burn damage is going to be real, and it is going to hurt. And that was not enough to kill him. I was hoping. I was sincerely open. Alright, well, we're going to say good day to you. Give some more fire. <sighs> Alright. And we will annihilate you slowly. Shiny Bob's going to be like, yep, you guys are just getting roasted and toasted. It is not a pleasant experience. Alright, stabbed again. Let's try a try lightning blast that pretty much annihilated every one of our opponents. Or nearly annihilated them. You are done. You are done. You are done. And that leaves just him. So let's go do that. Let's... It doesn't matter. Let's just drop a boulder on his head and be done with it. He survived. And now he's dead. Alright. So we're looking good again. Alright. I think I will rest here. Rest until all are healed. Which didn't take super long, but... Actually, I think it was still the full eight hours. Alright, are you by yourself? You are not by yourself. Hmm. Well. I'm not sure what to do at this point. Oh, there's food to be had here. Let's snag that up. Uh, there's only like three or four things left to fight at this point. And I'm not sure the best way to go about it. I think we just got some... Nope. Well, uh... I guess... Oh, here we go. This looks like a troublesome slash nasty fight. Let's go and deal with this. Alright, so first things first, we need you dead. Like, 100% that has to happen. And you guys are wound stackers. Fantastic. Secondly, we need the one in the middle completely dead. And again, we're gonna have to fully rest a, a complete day before that is done. Well, let's see if I can't give you some wounds too, since you're stacking them up on me so lovely. Lovely. Alright, you're gonna bleed out eventually. Let's start throwing stuff on you. The fire will dissipate eventually. It would be nice if the rain helped with that process, but I don't think it will. Alright, get rid of you. I don't I don't want to wait for it. Uh, let's lightning these three. I think that's going to be okay. Put the poisons up on to you. And let's see if we can get some more wounds stacked up on you. So all wounds are going to go on the outside two guys. All everything else is going to go on the inside guy. He has taken quite the beating. It is not a pleasant experience, but lightning once again keeps us going. Alright, what are we looking at here? He's got 16 wounds. That's fairly legit. Right, oh, good, we're cursed because I needed that on top of everything. What does that do? Oh, my maximum hit points have been lowered. Thank you. That's exactly what I was hoping for. And by exactly what I was hoping for, I mean not that at all. Alright, we need to remove your wounds, sir. Hopefully you will be able to deflect any additional attacks coming your way while we continue to lightning down the group. Nope, you got one wound on you, but that's still far better than the past. Alright, no more PowerPoint stealing, which is good. I'll throw up a heal onto you. Blah! No, not that kind of throw up. Alright, and we're going to start stacking wounds up on the right-hand side guy. Alright, let's start doing that. Big hits coming out. Pretty big wounds. He's not able to wound us anymore. This guy, however, is not the same. 
he is able to wound us. And let's remove your wounds. Alright. Let's lay the damage in. Let's see if we can't... Oh, there we go. 17 wounds up on you, 23 on you. Can we get another one? Another three, alright. And let's start stealing some power points back from you guys. Itana, well played, sir. Well played. Another hit, your wounds are still not doing anything. We'll get rid of yours. Throw the attack out. He hits, but he can't wound anymore, and that's awesome. Alright, we're gonna switch all focus onto the left guy now, after one more shot from you. There we go. Alright, and the final wound will be removed. And we will do AoE healing after this from now on. So Galen's gonna focus you, everybody else is gonna focus the left. Alright. Going to continue to steal power points if I can. Oh, you're done, okay. Big hit, big hit. Oh, you got another wound out, you pile of turds. Alright, that's fine. We're gonna go and snag that up. I'm hoping that Kalar can survive. And you're going to die right there, and you're gonna die soon, though not quite yet. Healing potion too, that'll be plenty. Keep you going. And Shiny Bob with an AoE he oh you still can't do it. That's not good. Alright, guess we're gonna throw it on to Mutana so he doesn't just drop for no reason. And let's see if we can kill you off. Not quite enough. You did miss, but then you bled and we are victorious with no deaths. Fantastic. So what we're waiting on now is just Bumpy to level up, I guess? I thought I was actually the head of the curve for a long time, but yes, no, I am now behind. The curve is unhappy with me. Oh, we're gonna have to wait. That's fine. Alright, we're gonna rest until everybody's healed. And there it is. All are healed again. Alright, was there anything left down this way? Or did we clear this? I think we cleared this. What did this say? Alright. Well, there's no enemy presence here. In fact, that, I believe, was the last of the roaming enemies, so now it's just the stationary ones that we're going to have to deal with. Alright. I will F5 it. Do we have something that removes a curse? I think we do, don't we? It's one of the horns, I think. No, it's the Cursed Fanghound? No, that's Fatal Wounds. That's sick, that's sick. What does that do? Strength Attribute by one. Proves Constitution. I thought we had something that removed a curse. Apparently we don't. Well, uh... I guess the alternative at this point is just to backtrack out, go get the curse removed, and then come back in and do battle again. I mean, that seems to be our only course of action. Uh, looks like we have three more fights down here. All of them seem to be troublesome. I don't know that that's necessarily the worst thing in the world, though. Alright, we're going to head up this way. And we're going to make it all the way to Devonia, which is over here. We're going to remove the curse. I may go for a blessing as well. Greetings. Greetings. Blessed be, Herald of the Gods. Darthenos was responsible for terrible atrocities, and now, at last, somebody has brought justice. Surely you bring the fate of the gods. I am uh, Patriane. The Priestess of Alvet, the Lord of Fire and Rage. Allow me to bless you with my gifts, my son. Thank you. Hey, all characters gain one power point and one hit point. Thank you, Pat or Patriane. I am happy to have been able to help the good people of this village. What can you do for me? I need spiritual help. I have been cursed. Can you purify? Oh my god, that was super expensive. Okay, I would like to receive a blessing... 
Velvet, the one who breathes fire and rage. Okay. Receive blessing. Yeah, speed, sure. For Brett. All resistances. Okay. May the light of the gods illuminate your path. We have most of those. One day. Permanent, one day, one day, and permanent. Okay, that should be fine. Alright, let's head back out and see if we can't get into some more trouble. We have about half the episode left before we're out of time. So, I'm going to scoot over. My chair is a little off-center here, guys. I'm a little over to the right, so... My voice is probably a little further away than normal. Nope, don't want to go that way. Let's head this way. Alright. We should be strong enough to deal with most of the demons down here now, I would assume. It might still be a bit challenging at times, but... I think we can probably take it. Like, this is going to be annoying, but I think we can handle it. We have to stack heavily up with wounds. So, let's start with hitting you. And let it begin. We're going to get heavily wounded as well, but yeah, at least we won't be losing power points. Alright. Once again, I'm going to throw the bleed out onto you. I'm going to start putting more wounds on the outer two. I'm going to focus fire down the center one, I think, is going to be the play. Alright, big hit there. Not so bad. Ah, we missed. It's unfortunate. Ooh, critical fail. I wish you wounded yourself when you did that. Alright, if only Shiny Bob was a little bit quicker in the first couple turn orders, we would be in such a better place than we are currently. But that is okay. Alright, let's throw that out there. Get some wounds out. Oh, they can wound too. Fantastic. Alright, we got 12 wounds on you. I'm going to do one more. That's still not quite enough, but it's something. I think you're going to have to use a consumable, buddy. You are looking a little bit worse with the wear. It's kind of getting pounded into submission. Let's get rid of some of those wounds. Yeah, let's see if we can't start stacking up a few more on the, again, the outskirts here. Very annoying. Alright, I'm going to drop it onto you. I'll shoot you as well. Let's see, where does that put us? At 12, 17, at 5. I'm going to hit you, that's 4 for you. Shiny Bob, once again, is going to cure some wounds here. And we're going to continue to lay out some damage on the middle individual. And we're looking okay-ish. I mean, we're going to win the fight. I mean, I'm not worried about that at all. In fact, at this point, I think I'm going to start stealing some power points back. It's just how long is it going to take us? I'm not 100% certain. Alright. Let's lay one more out on you. Oh, we missed. Dang it. Alright. Continue, Galen. Missing most of your attacks. That's good. You still need to be hit with, like, an arrow or something. You're still a little bit too strong. Ugh. Stop missing so much. You are a noob. Stop being noob. Alright, we're going to once again cure up Kalar. I'm going to throw an arrow onto you. Hopefully the four will keep you busy. We missed last time striking you. You're defending, though. Alright, we're going to throw out another one there. Let's again focus the middle. With both Galen and Mutanat. Really going to get another arrow on the right-hand side. Dang it with the wounding! Alright, so we got you. Let's steal from you. <sighs> Alright, what's next? Shiny Bob once again with another wound removal. Put it on to Galen this time. Alright, you should be pretty much out of the fight. You are still defending and annoyingly incapable of being hit, it seems. 
attack you. Ooh, a critical hit. That's pretty impressive for Galen. Galen doesn't usually bring the pain and suffering. Alright, you're dead finally. Thank God. Alright. Ah, oh, Galen. Come on, buddy. Shine a bob. Bring it out on a Kalark. Good. End this fool now. There we go. Put some more up. And I think we're pretty close to being set. Alright, I am going to deal with the middle person again, just because we can. There should be no more wounds coming our way, and in fact, we'll be up against 21 here. 18. Okay, well, let's do this. And we'll start pulling some more out. Shiny Bob only really has to remove a couple more wounds, and I think we're set. I'm gonna start laying into this one. I think Galen's gonna do the same. Make sure that you're. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're good now. Good luck hitting us. Alright. Make sure we take you out of the fight. I you still got a shot out there. I'm kind of impressed. Kind of impressed. Alright, we're gonna take your power points. Shiny Bob is going to just take care of himself at this point. And everyone else will be dealt with accordingly. Alright. Some more damage to you. Galen's like, ha! I scoff at you and your patheticness. Alright, Kalar should be going soon. Yeah, he is. Alright, big hit up onto you and get wounded. You should be nearly dead. I'm going to throw another wound out onto you. And still able to hit, though very rarely. Alright. You're done. Yay. Okay, who do we have left? Just a couple more people we can pull power points from. Steal it from you. Take out you. Shiny Bob once again still gathering his strength. Or marshalling his strength if you prefer. Pretty big damage coming out. 34 wounds, 32. Yeah, you guys don't have anything you can do against us. Pretty simplistic at this point, folks. Pretty simplistic. Alright, well, let's remove the last of the wounds from you. And let's get rid of you. Not quite strong enough yet. We're going to continue to throw it out. Spreading the love, as it were. Again, we're in no danger anymore of actually dying, so... What's the point? You guys should be able to bleed out on your own, too. Like, what are you guys bleeding for? You're only bleeding for five. That's kind of embarrassing. And I think you're the final PowerPoint steal. Yeah, that's it. Alright, Galen, you get to lay into him. Utanat and Kalark, you get to lay into the other. Kimiera, you get to stay on the right hand side of life. And, yep, very, very soon we will be looking very, very solid. Wow, we've actually almost caught all the way back up to our PowerPoints. I am a pretty big fan of this. In fact, we can elongate this a little bit if we want. We don't have too many bleeds coming out just yet. I don't believe we get much more out of Bumpy. However, we can do a triple heal there. That's still super expensive. I don't think we can get anything else out of these guys. Yeah, let's see. They're tapped out. But we should be able to get, like, a couple more heals out of... Hmm. Wasn't enough to kill you. That's good. Alright, we'll do that. We'll hit you, and I think they both die right here. The bleed... Not enough, ironically. Alright, so you're gonna bleed out, right? There it is. Alright, so we were victorious. 4,700 and 1,200. Pretty long, drawn-out fight. Pretty difficult, not the most overwhelmingly difficult fight ever, but it was still pretty difficult. I'll give it that. Alright, we need to balance this as best we can, so we're gonna use light healing. Alright, I think that's as close as we're gonna get, so let's rest until all characters are healed. Let's turn our torch off. Hey, there was something I missed there. Oh yeah, it's because we haven't been in here before. Awkward! Huh. 
some sort of weird pike type item. I am kind of a fan of that. Alright, north, north, south, south, east. That is another island we can go to, gaz and gals. I am looking forward to that. It's going to be quite a bit of fun. I, I have been exploring, or I have been enjoying exploring the islands. Alright, what was over here? This was the two, if I recall correctly. It is troublesome. Alright. So what we're going to do is we're going to press the old quick save and we're going to attempt this fight. I don't know if I fought one of these giant winged guys just yet. The guy in the back has me concerned. 1200, I don't know what he does. I know the frontline guy is pretty nasty, so... Here's hoping we survive whatever's going to happen. It bleeds, right? Yeah. Oh, critical hit and bleeds. Oh, he uses spells! Nice! And by nice, I mean not that at all. Alright, we're going to try to stack up some wounds onto you. Make you less uh, effective. Oh, all sorts of spells. Wonderful. Alright, got the stun on the shiny bob. Not the play. Dang it, we missed. Come on. Stop missing, fools. Stop missing. Let's get those bleeds out. Another wound. Oh gosh, you're really hurt. Alright, Shadow Bob, or uh, sorry, it's a bumpy at this time. I'm going to use the double lightning just to get the stun off here. See if we can't lay into some more damage. Bleeds hurt, but they're not the end of the world. I'm going to use a potion. Make sure we stay alive. Ow, more fire coming our way. Not pleasant. How much bleed slash poisons do we have up on you? You're going to be bleeding slash poisoning for over 50. Turn. I'm okay with that. I believe at this point I would like to steal some uh, love from you. Rock slash wound. Ooh, he's got to survive. Hmm. Let's see. Can we do enough? To... Is he going to attack the back line? He is. Oh, Shiny Bob is down. That could be a pretty massive problem. And by could be, I mean is a pretty massive problem. Alright, he's pretty much done. Alright, hang in there, Chimera. Alright, come on, you just gotta fall, dude. Jeez, there we go. Alright, how- No! Urgh. He's not super strong, so... I mean, potentially, we're gonna probably end up losing some people here, but... And by potentially, I mean we're definitely gonna be losing some people here, but I think we can still survive this. No, I'm not. What the heck did you just do? That's not cool, man. You can't do stuff like that. Um, huh. Consumable. Healing salve. Onto you. Oh, that's painful. Okay. I really, really, really have to hit heavy, heavy attacks on you guys. Okay, this is going very poorly for us. Alright, consumable again. We're gonna go with a healing potion for... Oh my. This is not fun. How hurt are you? You're pretty hurt, but I think again, consumables are gonna have to come out. Ah, we missed. Dang it. Can't afford to miss. No, you can't do stuff like that either. That's cheating. Okay, getting some wounds onto him. Ah, we missed again. Man, you're terrible at doing your job, buddy. Alright, consumable. How much does a 5 heal for? 400. I think we're going to do another 4 here. And then I'm not willing. I'm willing. Ugh. Ooh, ooh, nice. No, targeted him. Okay. Creepy. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. No. Oh, that's super weak. All right, so all party members are dead. Our mission has failed. We're apparently an Ulrog soldier. I am ranked 45 out of 100. Well, 
There you go. Alright, well, we're gonna load again, guys and gals, the quick game here. That was pretty brutal, I'm not gonna lie. That guy in the back definitely hurt way more than I was anticipating. Now, I thought for sure we'd be able to survive that, but not quite. We'll go again, we'll try it. Maybe, I don't know if we want to go with a different approach or what the case is, but we definitely have to try it again. Alright, so the attack is gonna be real. Your attack is going to be real, and then let's see, magic items, what if we use the Song of Dream, Any? do you think it's possible we can put the guy in the back to sleep? Well, I'm willing to try it, oh, they resisted it, well, poop. Alright, well, it's really going to come down to a lot of luck. So if we can get lucky enough to actually take these guys out, I will be pretty thrilled. Oh come on, you got You can't. You can't be missing, guys. You got to land these shots. All right, so fire's coming out. Shiny Bob, please. Thank you. All right, just gonna get through the front line, guy, and that is going to be quite the challenge. Oh, even with that, he still just flat out manned up and owned us. Well, again, if we get a little bit lucky and we don't have our backline annihilated right away, come on with the missing. The backline annihilated right away, we're going to be looking a lot better than we did before. Alright, an AoE heal at this point is going to be our best bet. So again, we're going to stun them, keeping them out of the fight as long as possible. There we go, now we're doing some damage. Now we're doing some work. Alright, it is her time to shine. Okay, and down he goes. Alright. Well, if nothing else, we're significantly stronger than we were before. And we're looking way, way better than before. Alright, we're going to go and throw a heal up onto Kalar. We're going to start dropping some serious pain onto you, buddy. It's fine. Go and do whatever you're going to end up having to do here, because I am going to end you. So see, just a little bit luckier with RNG and we're going to be fine. This game isn't super ridiculous on RNG. There's some. I mean, don't get me wrong. Obviously, any game like this is going to be RNG. But thankfully, this game isn't super heavily influenced by RNG. It's not like the end of the world with RNG. Steal some of your power points. I don't know what he did to me there. That was not pleasant, though. Alright, attack again. Big hit. What are we looking at? He's still over half. And we still can't seem to land any of our big hits on him. Alright, we're once again going to do an AoE heal. Shiny Bob is pretty much out of mana at this point. Bumpy is not having fun. Nobody's really having fun this time around, let's be honest. Land it. There it is. Alright, he is pretty low. Alright, we're going to use consumable magic... Our healing potion 4, we're going to go and drop another rock on his head. Trying to do some damage to him. He's going to drop a rock on the shiny Bob's head. Again, trying to do damage back. Shiny Bob is fine with that. Keeping everybody alive. More fire coming out. And I think we've got it this time around. Though i got to say, I don't think we have the overall battle, though. Like, I don't think we can take the next fight that comes. Alright, one more attack and we'll be okay. If we land the attack, I should say. There it is! We were victorious this time around and we got ourselves a Tanaxis Horn. Uh, they are very rare considering the original owner is a very powerful is a very powerful creatures, apparently. Um, <clears throat> it can be grinded into a balm, which will enhance magical ability. It will increase our energy attribute by one. It's not bad. 4,700 experience for that. And it looks like we are out of time once again. But we did manage to survive it. Mind you, only barely, but we did survive it. No one died. I'm going to go and level up Bumpy, because he desperately needs it. Get some more energy, a little bit more speed, and I think at I think at this point we're gonna stop with speed on him. Now we're gonna get some more constitution again. 
All right, let's take a quick gander at what we have here. We have learning still available. Meditation seems to be gone, no longer available. Don't need incinerate air, end of flames, brutal armor, frost ball. Launches an orb which explodes an impact with the target, causing damage to three enemies at the same time. That's our new skill that just came out, I believe, recently, and I have not yet used that one. Uh, energy absorption, we're still trying to get that one up to the right power. And the new skill that we're going to be having soon is Inferno. Uh, flames erupt from the depths of the earth, enveloping all enemies in flames and causing severe heat. Does not look like it inflicts much damage, but it does burn every single enemy, so that does have some potential. Alright, we still have four points to spend. Object identification, and I think learning is going to be my maneuvers here. Alright, so Frostball now does 68 to 112. What does Lightning do? Sorry, uh, we gotta go actually into us here, don't we? Yep. Alright. The Golden Seed. It is a golden seed from the oldest Undendro. It weighs as much as if it were actually solid gold. It is warm to the touch and seems to be of great value. Alright, fine, and Velvet's Orb. Huh. Frisket's Hammer. I wonder what that is. Oh, I bet, you know, you know what I bet Velvet's Orb does? I bet it, maybe it allows us to walk in frosty places. Or, or, it says, do not fear the heat of the earth. Maybe it allows us to walk in Vilac without getting owned. That's probably what it is. Okay, that's cool. Um, 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 uh, yes, right. We're going to be doing stuff with him. That was the plan. All right, so we wanted to take a look at our spells. All right. So Frostball, once again, is 68 to 112, and then it freezes the target. Then Thunderstorm is 90 to 150, and 7 to 11 seconds, 4 to 8. So it's the same thing, but it's Frost as opposed to the other. Alright, that makes sense. That makes sense. Brittle Armor, that might be okay when we're up against a single target. I haven't used that yet, but I might need to. Okay, well at this point, I believe it would be uh, fruitful for us to rest until all characters are healed. And then go down here and explore whatever else is lingering or laying around. It is a Brastinium Falcon Ring. That does not seem like it was worth it, however. East, South, North, East, North. Well, folks, I think I'm going to break off the episode here. I wanted to make sure we rested up when we did all the other stuff that we had to do. The last thing that we have to do in this area is actually head down to this point here on the map. And that will be the final enemy that I believe stands before us. And it's a fight that I don't know that we can win right now. Either way, folks, I'm going to break off the episode here. I will see you next time with another episode of Lords of Shulama. Until then, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by the Freak Show, and I will see you later.